cloudy swelling or hydropic change this is the commonest and the first manifestation of almost all forms of injuries to cells it is fully reversible and is characterized by accumulation of water in the cells rather sir bacterial toxins chemicals poisons burns impaired regulation of sodium pump it is best observed in the renal tubular epithelium the affected kidneys are enlarged and pale and are described as large white kidney histologically the affected cells are swollen cytoplasmic granularity microvasculature of the tissue is compressed by swollen cells water collection leads to hydropic change this is characterized by the presence of cytoplasmic vacuoles but the nucleus is not affected as you seen in light microscopy pigments cas and hyalin cas may be seen other organs which show cloudy change or hydropic change are isolated cells of langerhans cloudy swelling due to failure of the cellular sodium pumps this will allow the excess sodium to enter the cells and there will be eventually increase in cellular water hydropic regeneration is very common and the cloudy swelling occurs with hypokalemia due to vomiting or diarrhea hydropic degenerate is a severe form of cloudy swelling